Driving sucks. How many hours are we stuck behind the wheel in our lifetime where we couldn't have been spending time doing something else, you know? With that being said, everything can change in the blink of an eye when you're driving, and that's why I'm presenting this to you, so that you can be aware and educated when times come. 1.3 million people die every year behind a car because of accidents and just stuff that happens, so I refuse for that to happen to any of you guys, so I'm gonna tell you some main points on how to be safe. And the one thing is, the purpose of this is to be more protected and more educated whenever you go out on the road by yourself, obviously, so that you're more aware of what's going on around you, in front of you, and you can be a better defensive driver and, you know, uh, react to what happens. But uh, one thing that no one ever thinks about when they're driving is the weather conditions, whether it's raining cats and dogs and your car's going to be slipping around, or if it's snowing and your car's still sliding around even more, or, you know, when you're on the highway and it gets so windy that your car gets pushed around and a lot of people don't really know how to drive in those conditions, that's when you really have to slow down. Another huge thing that people don't take into consideration is the person that's driving right next to you or in front of you or behind you, you know? You never know, they could be drunk, they could be high, they could be off of something that you've never even heard of, or it could just be a normal dude that just got off work that's having a bad day, you know? You never know, so that's why you have to be very empathetic with other people that are driving, but that's why when you are driving, don't give yourself tunnel vision. Obviously, you want to open everything up so you can see everything that's going on around you, and that you never get thrown off guard or hit unnecessarily, because that's the last thing that you want to happen. But with that being said, a second main point is that you never want to drink and drive. The feeling that alcohol gives you is almost unreal. And when you put that unreal feeling behind the wheel of a car, it's a recipe for disaster. And for other, it's not just for yourself, for other people on the road. You've heard of so many fatalities with drunk drivers. I mean, I could stand here all day and just talk about that, but I'm not going to. But when you are drunk, you never or hardly ever check over your, you know, in your blind spot, over your shoulder, and heck, even in your rear view mirror. You're never checking there when you're drunk because you're always looking at something else or you're just so messed up that, you know, you're just out of it. But being drunk also affects your depth perception. So when you're driving and a car looks like it's five feet away, but it's actually one, two feet away and you don't have enough time to stop, that's another huge thing that causes accidents is your depth perception when you're drunk. So that's why another big thing is really keeping the distance when you drive in general, but especially if you ever decide to drive drunk, but that's never gonna happen because I'm giving you this video right here, so don't drive drunk. But uh, for the third main point, don't multitask and drive. That's a huge thing. People are love to eat and drive, and your hands are always connected to the steering wheel, so when your hands aren't connected to the steering wheel, you don't have full control of the car. And that makes it so much more dangerous being on the road because you're not in full control and you never know what's gonna happen because of the person behind you or in front of you. As well, when you're multitasking, it makes you very much more exposed because you're not being as much of a defensive driver as well as you'd like. And you always don't have your eyes on the road when you're multitasking because you're either looking at your food or you're looking at something else, you turn up the music, or you always have your mind on something else so you're not fully focused on the road. Another huge thing that people are really bad at is driving when they're on their phone, whether it's texting. You've heard of all the texting and calling accidents that have happened. You know, that's just adds up to the 1.3 million that, you know, die in fatal accidents. But this is even worse than we have all heard the stories of people texting and calling and you know that last sex that sent i'm on my way and then they never see them again so multitasking is another huge thing that people need to stop doing when they're driving but in conclusion driving is very dangerous but very fun there are always so many things that you need to do when you're driving like checking your blind spots being sober not trying to multitask or going to drive in weather conditions that are so bad you can't even see five feet in front of you so the point of this speech was to keep you well protected and educated behind the wheel and everything can change in the blink of an eye. So I hope I educated you and have a nice rest of your day.